work on the analysis for um, my general relationship meeting uh, for the rest of April, end of April, analysis. Um, so this is for collective uh, reading. Uh, if you uh, don't feel this is specific fit uh, your intuition, uh, make sure you just take whatever uh, it uh, uh, fit into uh, meet with your intuition uh, and leave the rest of for the uh, for uh, up there. I do not offer the personal reading, but I do uh, offer what I call the a personal reading uh, for purchasing book. So if you purchase my book, uh, and uh, um, I will offer uh, your reading. All right, Aris. So let's. I pull the uh, car for as main energy in this period uh, from the work deck. Uh, and uh, um, and the also pull pull the tarot card. This is the most recent pass. Your current energy. Uh, your unfolding energy, uh, your uh, surprise energy, and the major challenge and the potential outcome, clarified by the I Ching, right? Okay, let's talk about the Oracle energy. So the first card comes from the Spirit Oracle deck. Uh, it's number 40, Ascended Master. Devoted spirit and specific intentions. So, in this period of time, you will find uh, you have this energy to meet uh, with the descended master. Means you know, descended master may be uh, the the God, Jesus, uh, Buddha, uh, or the any other. Uh, goddess, God, goddess from high ground, which is holding in the light for you, right? Just work with this energy. Anything, you know, hold, anyone come to you, hold the divine knowledge, that is your descended master, right? Uh, for this specific energy, all right? And the second card is from the divine feminine oracle, is, is Queen Aether. Uh, this is called uh, my ego is sense of my soul. I trust my soul, divine timing. So looks like uh, you know in this period of time there is a divine timing, uh, coming right. There is something is calling you, uh, to make you feel good. My ego, ego is something make you feel good about it, right? Uh, that is your soul, right? Uh, trust that there is a divine timing here is right now you the night's coming it's 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 right time to 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 go forward right and the third card is the uh you know come from the uh angel guidance this angel guidance is vulnerability and freedom so when you show your vulnerability you gain the freedom, right? When you show your vulnerability, you are reaching the star, uh, and you say all the blessing, blessing will come in. That's where your freedom come in, right? Talking to the people, uh, seeking help, uh, and you will uh, feel free about it. Uh, so last card is uh, Intuition Oracle number 26, Desirable. Uh, I accept my desire as pure expression myself, my essential self. Whatever you desire, that is what you want to pursue. That is what you you want to go forward with, right? Okay. So work with this energy coming, right? Uh, you know, uh, gain the knowledge from the descendant master and in divine knowledge. Anything related to spiritual, uh, learn it, go get it, right? And that will, uh, you know, literally, it's, it's time, it's about time to pursue that. It's have this spiritual growth. 
by doing that, by ex have yourself、uh, vulnerable, you will achieve the freedom, right?、Uh, and also, those desire are、uh, choose your true self. Don't ignore that. Work with those energy in this end of April. Okay. For the most recent pass from the tarot reading is the full,、uh, you know,、uh, clarified by the number nineteen near. So the full is. You have that passion. You go forward, right?、Uh, you saw the divine light, right? You go forward, right? So、uh, you may act like a fool, but you know you are being a good hand. You know what things you want to do.、Uh, you already know the end end of result. You are getting help. You are in the good hand. Even you feel divine will catch up with you.、Uh, when you say divine. That's based on your intuition to say maybe you have friends' help, maybe you have your relationship, you have financial help. So everything, whatever initiative you want to take, you are well protected, right? So the current energy is the nine of sword. Uh, something is bothering you. That's where you're taking the initiative, uh, jumping forward, right? Uh, and you. Because for that you kind of like it's bother you. You can't get into sleep,、um, and it clarify with with the number forty nine. It's radical change, right? So because of this potential change coming, you really、uh, have the fear. You really think you may overthink.、Uh, you know you can't get into sleep. You will not be able to、uh, have the clear thinking, right? That's where there's a, a you know, a, the the ascended master coming, right? So this is the unfolding energy, is Ace of Swords. Ace is just new beginning,、uh, and you know, just come from divine, hand you a a passion, a initiative. You definitely will take it and keep it wrong, right? It's new beginning for you. It's something really new. Uh, but it's clarified by twenty four. It's returning. It's not new for this hand.、Uh, it definitely is some some your old friends,、uh, your old relationship, or your old project. You are picking on、uh, and 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 pushing forward. But even so, it's new. It's something old, or the you, you know the previous time. But this is.、Uh, Uh, definitely come with the divine knowledge, is much deeper, much、uh, you know, uh, richer uh, and richer,、uh, and those those things uh, uh, the one、uh, initiative coming right. So this is unexpected energy is really、uh, you know ace of one.、Uh, You saw a lot of things coming, and you're fighting the back, or you push it back. You use a、uh, different mechanism to、uh, to、uh, push back. The one is the throw. You kind of use a bow to shoot it back,、um, and and、uh, it clarifies number forty six is pushing upward. It's really achieve something. You standing on the good ground. You have that kind of divine understanding, or、uh, spiritual understanding. What you are doing is actually serving your purpose. You you will achieve the victories at the here, right?、Uh, something coming, you should you throw it back,、uh, and you are in the good shape at the here. So that's unexpected energy. So your major challenges. It looks like、uh, you know,、uh, seven of wands.、Uh, there is a for the initiative coming. There is a discord. There is a、uh, you know disagreement. Someone don't ag argument right.、Uh, someone don't agree with you, and you are kind of like、uh, fighting back communication wise. Argue with it, right. It it is uh uh not as harmonious what you expected. That's your major challenge of it. Um,、uh, and you clarify the number fifty nine dispersion, 
discipline is just basically shooting the back, <laughs> level it, push it back, and uh, and um, make it disappear. Uh, I think you are doing good. You are, you are um, having this kind of fighting energy as Aries always do. You are a powerful sign. This is your season, right? Potential outcome for this uh, this period of, of this five pentacle, right? So five pentacle is is look at it right. Um, it's it's kind of lacking for the things you are looking at. It. This is more for the end of of April. Uh, what you're looking is you want more. You want to build more. You look at yourself. You are lacking, lacking the knowledge. You are missing something in your life. You want to know more. You saw yourself uh, in this sense. You saw someone else already have like five pentacles here. Uh, and then you look at it, uh, you know, uh, it, you are looking at more, right? So it's clarify is number one in the I Ching as a creative uh, force. Uh, that's the beauty of the Aries. You are powerful sign. You look at your lack. That translates in creative uh, force to push you forward to do building more financial success, building more love, richer your life. Um, so even though you have potential outcome as as you feel the lack in your life, but that will translate into your creative force. That's your potential outcome. So Eric says, let's summarize it, right? So you, during this period of time, end of April, you have this energy of the, you know, descended the master, hold the divine knowledge come, come in, right? And that will make yourself, uh, uh, it's it's about the time, it's the right time, you'll make you happy. This is the divine timing, right? When you become the vulnerable, when you reach the star, you want to have, make yourself happy, right? You'll be vulnerable. When you do that, you'll feel free of it, right? You recognize what you are, uh, wanting desire is just natural expression of you yourself. That is, you deserve that. You deserve that kind of uh, of understanding, right? So from the tarot card point of view, uh, you know, you started with the you know take the leap, uh, whatever uh, I want to do it, right? Uh, and as uh, as a uh, this leap of faith, you found out that there are so many things, so many changes, uh, radical changes, just radical understanding you don't know. So you make your um, your sleepless lights, right? As unfolding energy, you have the you know something new coming. Uh, it's it's not any uh, it's not a pure uh, like brand new. It's your old things come back to you with the new energy divine knowledge, right? Um, and the unexpected energies you really are, you're fighting back uh, with your idea, pushing back, uh, pushing upward for the things you need, relationship or project you're working on. And, and you found yourself arguing with people, right? Um, and uh, at the end of the period, you found out that you really lack of something in your life, either uh, you know, panic, secure financial security, or love, or the uh, you know, uh, the the things, but that will translate into your creative force, which pushing forward, uh, to achieve uh, additional success. Erises, I wish you have a blessing period of time. I will talk to you soon.